Welcome to the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike YouTube channel. This is the first look at the Aeros RC 1100mm T28. Check out aerosrc.com for more information on this and other planes that they're going to carry. Um, you'll see the affiliation and they're also carrying these at Hobby Zone, but Aeros RC and HobbyZone.com are the only place you're going to get these in the United States. And that means they're also going to be supported well here as well. Uh, so these guys are not new to the party. They know what they're doing. It's a quality looking aircraft. I've taken a peek. Um, I cannot wait to lay it out and let you guys see it for yourselves. Three cell battery guys, I'm so happy for you. You're going to be able to dust them off with some of these new offerings available from AerosRC.com. All right, guys, let's dive right in. I'm so pumped. Let's go. So I want you to see how really easy this plane is going to be to put together. There is nothing to it at all. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Prop looks fantastic. Look at that. And here's our bits for getting it done. This plane also comes with a scale, uh, just dreaming, nose art, water decal, water slide, if you want to use that too. This is super exciting. Everything is pre-installed for you. Yes, retracts. Love it. So super low parts count. Six screws and you're assembled. There's no glue to the assembly. Yeah, this is gonna go together so easy. Here's the top side. Love it. Beautiful. Let's get into it. All right, let's build this thing. I got my cruise in stand here on the deck. And first thing we're gonna do is just like the instructions say, we're gonna go ahead and get the um, wing on. Um, before we get the wing on, what we're gonna do is pop the lid here so we can get to the wires and all. And I haven't been able to look in here yet. So I wanted to show you there's plenty of room um, it comes with some Velcro. It's XT60s, which is cool. Uh, strap and the Velcro for your battery. And I love the plastic cowl. You know what else I noticed since I've been handling it? The box here for the landing gear. That's going to be sweet. That's really nice. Easy access for the wires. So we've got our lid undone here. Nice magnets for the uh, battery hatch. Super cool. So step one, here we go. We're gonna um, get the wing on. Easy peasy. Everything's taped up for you already. The leads are labeled, which is very nice. Look at this, so easy. Make sure everything's nice and tight, just because you might as well. Looks good. I'm gonna kind of straighten them out a little bit. And flip it over. Super easy to feed these down into the hole. making sure nothing's obstructed, nothing's in the wing saddle, and you've got really good visibility right here. Can you see that? Look at that, you can see what is going on very well. So you'll know, and you can grab a hold of them too, you'll know if you've got something bound up in there in the way. Wow, this fits good. Nice. 
nice. Oh, that is a snug, nice fit. Okay, so let's get our screws in, super easy. This is 100% the only hardware you need for this kit. They send one of those, you have four wing bolts, and then you have your, your horizontal stab. That's it, you can't get it wrong. These four are all the same. They send you one extra little black one for the stab in case you lose one. But if you have one of these stands, you have a magnetic strip anyway, so you can just put it there. All right, let's get the wing on. One, two. They sent an extra one of these too, which is nice. I always start at the front, but I just wanted to get with the stubborn one. Snug it up nice and tight, but not like over tight, nothing crazy. Get them all the same. I cannot wait to drop the gear on this baby. Well, that was easy. Wings done. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. And, oh, I love this size of plane. It's nice to handle one like this. You can fit a couple of them in the car. It's really nice. All right, let's do the tail. This thing's gonna be built in no time. So get your spar. You'll need it. There's only one place it can go. Stick that through. Get one half of your situation, your horizontal. And get that in there. That's in there pretty nice. And also, go ahead and make sure your hinges are nice and loose. Very good. Now it's time for the other half. This is the side that has the control horn on it, and that's where you'll have to put that one linkage. But we'll bind it up first and find neutral on the aircraft before we do that. And then this, you just make sure keys in. This right here will key in with this half, and they'll move in unison, locked in. Very nice. Oh, these are fitting really nicely. Make sure these are lined up about the same when you're putting them together. It'll save yourself some trouble. That's good. You move one, you see the other one move. That's good stuff. Wonderful. Now I'll come over the top and show you the screws. Super nice. So it takes these little ones. They send three. Flush, countersunk style, tapered head. That's nice. And it lined up wonderfully. All right, let's get this baby fired up. We're not gonna put the prop on until we know we like everything. Here we go. So now just pick your receiver of choice. What you're gonna have is number one, which is gonna be ailerons. They're on a Y. This is the only thing I have that's not labeled, so I just know that that's um, ailerons. Number two, coming from the back of the fuselage and it's labeled elevator.
throttles right up here. That's number three. Aileron, number one, number two, elevator, three throttle for me on Futaba. Now we're going rudder and number four. Number five is landing gear. Now, some of you who haven't done trikes won't have seen this before, but there's a three-way instead of a Y. There's a three-way because the nose gear is separate from the wings. So here's the nose gear lead marked gear for the nose gear. And we go ahead and plug that into the Y, make it sure the polarity is right. And then we can go in channel five for landing gear. Now the all three drop together. And then last but not least is our flaps, channel six. That's it. Now if you have a brand new receiver and a spectrum or something like that, that's now's the time when you bind it. Uh, for me, I've got a receiver that I've used before, so I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna blank out a channel and uh, set it up and uh, we'll be dropping the gear here really soon we're going to clean up this and then we'll drop the gear so the prop is off still and i'm getting ready to arm the aircraft and the prop is off again that's a good idea so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this velcro strip that came with the plane and i want to show you something that i really like about t28s So I love the battery compartment on a T28 because you can fit 2200s easily and you can fit the bigger 3300 and 3700s no problem. So guys who have bigger 3S packs, no sweat. So let's go ahead and put a 2200 in here. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way. And uh, let's look back it up just a hair so I can use some of my velcro too so now the prop is off and we're going to go ahead and arm this plane up and check it out make sure everything's in neutral uh, before we set throws oh yeah that's great Let's flip this over and check these gear out. Nice. Those look good. Metal trunnions. Uh, the gear have a little spring on there as well as being, oh yeah, they kind of float there. That's nice. That is slick. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Now, while we have the airplane bound up and everything's in neutral, we started on a blank channel. We're going to go ahead and hook up our clevises. Um, it's a good idea to do this. Again, make sure these are nice and loose. The book says we're going to use the last hole everywhere. Um, on the aircraft setup so that's what we're gonna do so it's a z-band situation very easy and I'm gonna go ahead and spin it in just a one whole turn and see what I think of it before I lock it in it looks like it's a little bit of up elevator and of course you can trim this stuff out but if you can you want to start at mechanical neutral so I'm gonna go one and see what I think that's that's dead level neutral I'm going with it so you'll hear a positive click and then slide your tubing over it and you're done now we have a working elevator very nice let's get a shot of these flaps too while we're belly up working 
By the way, I, I'm loving that everything is installed already when you get it. Um, the only thing that needs a little bit of trim out of the box is one of my ailerons, I can tell. But that's no big deal. But my flaps are dead on. I didn't do anything. Nice. And I've got more throw than that, but I got it dialed down on the radio. And they'll loosen up a little bit too. Nice. You don't want steeper than that either if you're if you're learning. So cool. All right, let's get the prop on and uh, set it up. So it's a good idea to set up your throws and everything before you put the prop together. Um, definitely do not put the prop on while your plane is powered on. Um, again, that's why it's good to set up your throws beforehand. So here we go with the one piece prop assembly. This is gonna be really easy to do. And again, we've got a hex bay shaft, which is super nice. And it comes with this hub and it's got a brass threaded insert in there which is nice so there's no you're gonna do it by hand there's no prop nut and here's the two-part hub right here and sometimes you might need a little coercion to get that undone not too bad awesome so it's very simple obviously that's the back because it's got the hex as well fits really nice wow and that clicks together super this goes on and wow look at that Man, it looks nice and true too. Pilots, can you believe it? We're done already. The assembly is super easy. There's just six screws to get it done. No gluing to the assembly. Very nicely appointed, easy to put together aircraft. Three cell power, 1100 millimeter T28 Trojan in a scheme I've really never seen before. And it looks really good. Uh, guys that have trouble seeing will have no problem with this one. And we got Captain Mike up there in the pilot seat right now. So, uh, you know, nice one piece prop. Again, three cell power. There's room in the compartment for the bigger 3S packs if you don't want to fly the 2200s. Feels really good with the 2200 up in the front as far as CG goes. Although the proof's in the pudding, and we'll get that out to the field and show you what we think and what we end up with. But I love it that there's room for bigger packs. You'll just have to move them back, no big deal. There's a strap and there's Velcro. Super cool. XT60 connectors, and this is available at aerosrc.com. The link will be in the description below. Check that out. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe right here to the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike RC YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. I'm your Pilot Ryan. We'll see you next time. See ya.